So I'm with Linda Rush and you're leading a new initiative, a new company in fact, um, set up here in the UEE that is going to be tackling probably one of the biggest challenges, not just here but around the world, and that's of the quality of teaching and learning and how we continue to improve it. Tell us a little bit about your organisation and its uh, vision for the future of teaching and learning in this region. Mm. Well, it's still in, very much in its embryonic state, um, but it has got um, institute status now, um, and it's on the way to becoming a, uh, I hope, all being well, a TVET centre, Technical Vocational Educational Training Centre, aimed specifically at looking at teacher learning and leadership learning within the school context. Um, we're not trying to share our wares to other um, sort of markets. And we're not trying to pretend it's a university either. Talal, teacher learning and leadership for all, um, is about looking at upping the quality of teacher learning and leadership for all, not just for a particular group of schools. And there's enough reason for that across the UAE. And with the upcoming teacher standards and this notion of a license to teach, Talal is fitting in with that idea of looking at how you can accredit an award quality applied learning in respect of teacher learning. And it's agnostic as to whether um, you're a state school, an international yeah, school. Absolutely. You're essentially about raising the quality of teaching and learning. Those four all of that, those two words at the end are really the core part of the vision. Absolutely. And this idea of reciprocity as a, uh, and partnership and partnership as a form of collaboration is absolutely fundamental to Talal. So, it is already seeking and has already some world-class partnerships in terms of uh, University College London, for example. It's looking at the University of Birmingham and in partnership with the University of Birmingham, who is setting up branch campus status for next year. Looking and potentially University of Manchester and other organisations which have niche sort of reputations in and around something to do with teaching and learning. It could be to do with Arabic, it could be to do with STEM. So you're bringing together these, these different sets of expertise and a really important point that you mentioned earlier is that this is not just more teacher development. There's also quite a strong research angle in terms Absolutely. of knowing the why behind what we're doing. The, 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 the having, de identifying and developing a philosophy, be it on behalf of an individual or a school or a group of schools, in respect of education, knowing why you do what you do in the way that you're doing it and being able to articulate it uh, very clearly is fundamental. So. Whilst Talal is, is foregrounding the schools in leading on the learning and looking at identifying talent and knowledge and expertise within schools as part of an extended team, if you like, to develop teacher learning, the, 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 the theory aspect and dimension I think is, is important, it has a place. But unlike traditional models of partnership where you get your more knowledgeable other organisation marrying up to schools and deciding the why, what, when and how of teacher learning, this is about having a much more reciprocal relationship and starting with the individual leaders and teachers in schools. And I think that word um, reciprocal is, is, it, is quite easy, I guess, to glance over it. What you're really talking about is moving from a top-down model Absolutely. of um, almost patriarchal, this is the right Absolutely. way to teach and making it more about your partner school? This is about lateral sort of working and learning. It's about lateral um, uh, monitoring. Um, it is about team. It's about group work. It's about joint practice development. It's about mentoring and coaching. Now you're, you're starting this in the UEE. What is it about the context of this region that makes it the right thing to do here and now? I would say the UAE if there ever were a context that this more distributed schools-led model of teacher training is promoted, for the UAE, because of its cosmopolitan nature, the fact that you have more nationalities or ethnicity on behalf of teachers and students and the curriculum in schools, it really is fundamental that you start with the individuals and the groups and their beliefs and values and work with their ontology, the lens, if you like, that they're looking through in terms of how learning best takes place, understanding themselves as learning. And so the idea of moving away from a very technocratic way of, of training, from, from handing over professional knowledge to focusing on professional practice in the context of 
this cosmopolitan world in which education operates in the UA is, is really important. So that deconstruct to reconstruct to deconstruct to and reconstruct is really important. Um, what's your vision for this work in the next five years, for example? So we do have a vision as part of the sort of strategy. Um, it's as a five-year sort of plan. And it is about moving outwards to, to support capacity building within the schools and groups of schools themselves so that they are growing their own teachers. We have, I think, 90% plus of teachers currently working within the UAE who are flying in and flying out, so to speak. They've got their qualifications elsewhere, they've got their experience elsewhere, they come and then they go. And that leaves the UAE very vulnerable. I want Hilal to be a fundamental part of helping the, the country grow its own high quality, outstanding yeah. teachers and leaders. Wonderful. And so you've come to Guest 2016. Um, you've, you obviously know this region like the back of your hand. Well, not so, no, I mean, I've been here 15 months. I've, I've not oh, okay. long been here. And so th th it's therefore really interesting. What has this event brought for you in terms of understanding the region, understanding how other organisations try to get involved in what's going on here? Well, in a sense, it, 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 it's, 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 a perfect, it's a perfect exemplification of what I want Salal to be. It's offering up, a, up an opportunity to provide some, 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 some teaching. Um, so um, there's some aspect of provision. It, it's a hub for, for an open exchange uh, between people and organisations and practices yep. and so forth. It's a place for people to share innovation and, and new ideas. And, and it's bringing together, in a transcontinental fashion, people from around the world to, to look critically at, at education. So I've had the opportunity to talk about something very particular we're testing out in terms of developmental methodologies as part of our engagement with teacher learning here. So, you know. Listen, thank you very much and I'm delighted that you've managed to, I think, sum up that this event in terms of its multicultural aspect maybe sums up the challenge you're trying to work with as well. Absolutely. Um, if you want to find out more about um, Talal, hang out with us for the next couple of days, learn more from some of the conference sessions. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.